Man trapped inside his own body reveals the heartbreaking truth 12 years later He was a typical boy who was born healthy and grew up normal and beloved by his parents But when Martin Pistorius turned 12 a debilitating illness began to take over his body The doctors didn't know how to help and before long Martin was completely paralyzed of mind and body 12 years passed until Martin started to come back around his progress was slow and at first wasn't even noticed by those around him When he finally woke back up he revealed a painful truth one that no one ever expected Martin Pistorius was a little boy just like any other he was an active child who loved watching cartoons and was obsessed with resistors transistors anything to do with electronics it was the early 1980s and Martin was growing up with his parents in South Africa Everything was perfect for their family that is until the day that Martin got sick It started out simple enough 12 year old Martin was complaining about a sore throat But as the doctor visits increased and the symptoms became more and more severe Martin's parents were beginning to get worried Martin had come down with a rare form of cryptococcal meningitis and tuberculosis of the brain the disease slowly deprived Martin of his motor functions and it was only getting worse Martin's condition was incurable and the symptoms got progressively worse Eventually the boy lost the ability to move by himself entirely then as if by some cruel twist of fate He stopped being able to make eye contact Finally, he even lost the ability to speak It was as if he had entered a coma a terrifying coma that slowly took hold of the frightened little boy until he was little more than a vegetable Martin's parents Rodney and Joan Pistorius pleaded with the doctors for some sign that the disease was reversible That their little boy would one day recover his motor functions his brain functions, but it was not to be They told him that all they could do was take him home and keep him comfortable until he died Only Martin didn't die The Pistorius son was trapped in his body unable to die and unable to move once he turned 14 It became clear that he was going to survive his parents decided then that they would do whatever they could to keep him comfortable It started at first as home care visits during the day at night Martin's father would take over He would get up every two hours during the night to turn his son just so he wouldn't develop any bed sores Once they realized they couldn't do it alone his parents signed him up for a local care center His father would get up every day at five o'clock in the morning Get him dressed load him in the car and take him to the special care center for the day eight hours later He'd pick him up bathe him feed him and put him in bed for years. That was their routine Joan Pistorius was losing her grip the struggle to keep up with her son's needs with the burden He had become and the suffering she must have been in was just too much to bear One day at her lowest Joan walked up to her son and said out loud. I hope you die It was a plea to God perhaps or to the fates that they end the struggle Martin and his family were going through she was told he couldn't hear the outside world in his condition Then when Martin was around age 16 he began regaining consciousness at first He wasn't aware of what was happening He couldn't even sense others around him, but as his mind came back to him He soon realized that he could hear others sense their presence He had not heard the cruel thing his mother had said to him in her time of despair Yet he still could not impart anything to those around him. He couldn't move at all before long Martin was aware of everything just like any normal person would be but he couldn't express himself couldn't move his eyes or wiggle a toe His brain and his body were disconnected This realization was a worse shock than all the others He was a boy in a man's body now and he was trapped within himself Meanwhile everyone in Martin's family had been so used to him not being there that they ignored him Even if he could have made a sign to let them know he was there. They wouldn't have seen it The stark reality finally hit him he was going to spend the rest of his lifetime trapped in his own mind totally alone with only his thoughts for company He would never know true love never have children never work in electronics. There was no escape Martin Pistorius only option was to leave his thoughts behind to become blank so that he didn't have to deal with the futility of his situation Martin began to disengage his thoughts in a sense. He allowed himself to fall back into the darkness and vanish Unfortunately, there were some things Martin couldn't ignore The entire world still thought that Martin was a vegetable So they did what they would do with anyone that they thought might not be aware of their surroundings They plopped him in front of a TV the staff at the special care center would leave him for hours staring at the TV 
watching endless reruns of children's shows like Barney and Friends. And that was just the beginning of their cruelty. Each day, Martin would be filled with dread at the thought that his parents would be taking him to the care center. People in the care home would pull his hair and make his eyes water. They would crash the metal spoon against his teeth while force-feeding him. They would yell and scream at him for minutes at a time. Sometimes they would feed him scalding hot tea or soup when he got sick or slap him around knowing that he couldn't fight back. One woman would even come in the room and straddle Martin to simulate sex with him. She would touch him inappropriately, make him feel worthless and completely powerless. He wanted to run, to complain to stop what was happening to him, or at least to tell someone what they were doing to him, if only to get it to stop. And despite wanting to give up, Martin kept on living, hoping that one day he might be free. Martin focused hard on things that were negative to him. It was an effort to try to reframe those terrible thoughts like his mother saying, I hope you die. It was worse than anything else he'd experienced at the hands of the care center employees, and he began to wrestle with it. Why would his mother say that? Perhaps it was time to try and understand her desperation, her sorrow. In time, Martin began re-engaging with his thoughts. He knew that in order to heal and fight the depression and loneliness he was feeling, he had to strengthen his mind. Slowly his mind felt better, and then, as if by some miracle, so did his body. Inside his brain, the neurons were re-knitting. He was coming back to himself, to awareness, and soon, to movement. Soon, Martin was capable of making small movements. Initially, his parents and caregivers didn't notice the movements. They'd spent so much time knowing that he couldn't move that they would scarcely believe their own eyes when they saw an odd twitch. Then one day, Verna Vanderwald, an aromatherapist, began to notice that Martin would react to specific statements or questions. At the age of 25, Martin Pistorius regained his full consciousness and a great deal of his mobility. In time, he forgave his parents for the things they'd said. He understood the desperation because he'd felt it at times too. Before long, Martin met his wife, Joanne, a social worker, on the internet. In 2009, he asked her to marry him. Martin and Joanne currently live in Harlow. Things are still different for him sometimes. For instance, he speaks with the aid of a voice synthesizer, but overall he's learned a lot from his time trapped within himself. He had to relearn all of his essentials, math, the alphabet, but picked it all up quickly. He even earned a degree. Martin's next milestone is learning to drive. All he needs now is an instructor to help teach him in an adapted car. He passed the theory test with flying colors in the meantime and is well versed in the art of piloting his electric wheelchair. Ultimately, driving should be a piece of cake for a young man who's been through so much. Please share this video with your friends below.